Hey y'all, MK here and welcome back to the cookery. Today I'm actually going to be doing something that I have never actually firsthand made. I've had it in like Stouffer's or like a already like pre-cooked like type of thing. And so today we're going to be making some lasagna. This is going to be a super basic and simple um, pasta sauce with cheese type of thing. So we are just going to dive right in. This is going to be my first ever experience with it. So let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so I'm obviously using like this kind of size of a pan and obviously when using this size lasagna, I am probably going to have to cut some like the edges and then layer those on top. But yeah, this actually only fits two on the bottom, which is great. I think I'll have about three layers, I think so. Two, three layers and we'll just see how this goes. I'm going to pile everything on and then hopefully this doesn't end up messy at all. All right, y'all, so I added all my layers. I actually ended up making about four, which is really good. And I used the ones I cut on top here. And I actually really like it because it kind of gives a guide of where to cut when it's actually like, if you want four, like I think four like servings here. So I think that's actually a really good method for it. Didn't think of that until now, so that's good. I added another layer of cheese on top. In total, I think I used about three cups of cheese. Obviously for the top, I kind of just sprinkled and kind of went crazy because, you know, cheese. But I think this actually turned out really well. I used almost the whole can of this Barilla tomato and basil sauce, which is actually kind of good because I don't like to be the one who like uses pasta sauce and then like right when you open it, you're like, okay, what else am I gonna do with it? So I think lasagna is actually a really cool way to use almost all at once and not have to worry about, okay, I have all this left over and I don't really feel like making spaghetti or pasta. So I have it kind of all in one, which I actually really enjoy. I'm actually going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees, which my oven is making its way to for 25 minutes. And we will just see how it goes and how it tastes. I feel like it may, like obviously it's just like pasta sauce and cheese. So it's not going to be like, whoa, spectacular. But it is my first time making it like by myself and firsthand. So let's just see how this goes. All right, y'all. So after 25 minutes in the oven, it definitely came out well. The cheese is nice and hard kind of not like hard but at the same time where you know it's like perfectly done especially when it's nicely topped on top i already took a slice here but i think i added maybe a bit too much sauce because it kind of lost its shape but overall i think it's going to taste good no matter what so let's just dive right in and take a bite definitely has a really nice like kind of cheesy obviously a lot of cheese but i think it actually goes really well together for me this is definitely a lot better because I am one to like just eat like plain pasta like rotini elbow shells like like that so eating lasagna is definitely a really nice change and I really love how like you can layer it with anything and I think that's like the more appealing part to it because it's layers and just like that kind of makes it more comforting in a sense because it's definitely different from like your everyday pasta which I usually eat so this is definitely a really nice change and overall I think it tastes pretty good even though it came out a little messy Right, yeah, that is it for this week's video. Thank you guys for joining me with my first time making a lasagna as plain as it might be. I think I kind of nailed it pretty well. Definitely don't add too much sauce next time, but I think overall it blends well. But if you don't want, if you don't want to add too much sauce, or else it gets kind of messy when you try to take it out. But overall, I think I got the right kind of image going. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next week.